Duluni Festival know its origin, significance and how it's celebrated. Duluni Festival is a significant occasion in Nagaland that is celebrated by different clans of the Sumi tribe on July 8. The Sumi Naga is one of the major ethnic groups in Nagaland, India. Duluni Festival is celebrated with feasts and merrymaking as the occasion occurs in beautiful season of the year and at the end of the day season and the beginning of new fruits. The group of Sumi accepts the festival of Duluni as the grandest and important one. Here is the history, significance and celebration of Tuluni Festival of Sumi tribe. History of Tuluni Festival In history, the festival was celebrated in the two regions namely Rabo and Ajo in different periods of time. The Rabo was a humid and hot region and the residents, they were known as Rabumi. They celebrated Tuluni before the other tribe, Ajo also known as Ajomi. Originally, Tuluni was glorified for almost four months after the implanting of seeds. Later, in the year 1972, the Sumi Naga decided to celebrate it on the same day, the 8th of July every year. As per the new age, Tuluni is celebrated as one-day festival, but the ancestors used to celebrate it for seven days. These auspicious days were observed with great commitments and were equally significant. Tuluni Festival's Significance the important festival was marked by prayers and offerings to Litsapa, the deity of fruitfulness who gives lives and protection to the crops. This is basically a harvest festival of the Sumi tribe of Naglen. Tuluni is a grand day for people and farmers who work effortlessly on firms throughout the year. During this special time, they get to rest and celebrate the completion of a farming season of hard work in their paddy fields. It is the Sumi culture to arrange the engagement of young couples during the festival. The remainder of the festival is celebrated in the heavy observance and execution of various age, all rituals and ceremonies. Tuluni Festival Celebration Originally, Tuluni Festival was celebrated for seven long days. However, with a change in time, it is now observed on July 8. The Sumi tribe offered prayers to respective gods and the other spirits who were deemed to provide help in the field works during the years. They involve themselves in merrymaking and eating rich food. No work is done and people take rest to get strengthened for the hard work done by them for the entire year. People drink rice beer, which is also the most significant phase of this festival, and it gives the very name of Tuluni to this festival. People also invite their respective fiancés to a grand feast in their houses and exchange of gifts among themselves take place. The traditional folk songs and dances known as ballads are performed. A grand feast is organized that mainly consists of non-vegetarian items and the most important part of the feast is the drinking of rice beer.